Meet Me in Bombay by Jenny Ashcroft, published by Little Brown. And this, of course, is set in Bombay, Mumbai of today, uh, from about 1913 to the early 1920s. So it's very much Raj era India. The novel opens in 1913 on the 31st of December, and Maddie is attending a New Year's Eve bash at the Taj Hotel with her friend Della, um, and they are milling around with people, friends they know, and she catches the eye of Luke Devereux, and she finds that her heart beats just that little bit faster. They don't really have any contact, but somehow she feels really, really smitten. He then sends back her matches that she had left with a little note, and then he sends her an old guidebook that's shown him Bombay and suggests that she maybe starts to have a look at the hidden parts of the city. Um, that, of course, is something that's quite difficult for a woman to do in the night in 1930. So she, with trepidation, she kind of heads on out to see what she can discover. And she goes to the spice market, she goes around, and the smells and the heat are certainly captured beautifully by the author. And 1913 passes into 1914 and they begin to meet up and they begin to establish that in fact what they felt on that first evening was something very, very real. And they get together and they anticipate that they can marry. But of course, Franz Ferdinand is killed and World War I starts. He has to go off to war. He has to go to Karachi to take some troops across to France and he has a horrible time. Meanwhile, Guy is a family friend, the family doctor, and he's always had a bit of an eye for Maddie. And he is always there to support her, but suddenly they get information that Luke has been seen to be killed in the trenches. So in Surrey, in England, uh, there is a military hospital, and in that hospital is a young man who has lost his memory totally. He's been very much wounded in the uh, trenches and he doesn't know who he is, where he comes from or anything like that, but he has flashes of memory in his dreams. And so he tries to recall things, but he's not sure who he is at all. Maddie, meanwhile, is absolutely convinced that Luke is dead and she's got to move on with her life. And I think what is wonderful about this book is that um, you don't know whether they're going to end up coming back together and in order to find out whether they do or not, you will have to buy the book. Um, it's wonderfully atmospheric uh, on Bombay. Um, you know, you can feel the heat, um, you can smell the spices. So if you want to escape 2020, May, June, um, you know, when our world is in a bit of trouble, um, you can go right back to the 1910s and experience Bombay as it was. It wasn't an easy life then, you know, there was World War One, um, but it's something that's very different and immersive.